Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. Another day, another dollar, and guess what? The whale just got whaled. Absolutely got whaled by this guy. My Japanese friend over here from KFC, huh? KFC. What is this KFC? What is their clan like? What is their clan like? Current rank 163. He is the leader. Hmm. Okay, so I just got whaled by a whale and I was not able to make it. 412,000 and he was at 414. So, guys, lesson is this <laughs> sometimes you get whaled, sometimes you whirl it. So, you just have to pick the game, uh, find the best that you can, and at least I got second, which is decent. And there you go look at those gold uh, diamonds and you're absolutely farming some great diamonds you got to be able to farm the right items and so that is being consistently good so guys you have to consistently be good try your best to be able to time something that works out for you and let me just prestige this and get this out of the way AT is coming guys AT in a few hours time it is going to start However, just like a normal, normal tournament, you want to time it carefully, you don't want to go too quick, uh, you want to be able to use it at the right time. So I usually jump on around the same time as now, which is when 9 hours starts, I have another 12 hours, so 12 plus 9 I, I don't know, you guys, you can do the math. I, I, I know, I, I'm not good at mathematics, but hey. So basically, 9 hours plus 12, and you're probably at 21 hours from now, which is when I will probably start this Abyssal Tournament. As I do work quite late, and I don't have much time until, say, later on in the night, around 11, 12 o'clock at night. So that is my plan, that I would probably join around that time in order for me to be able to smack it out farm as hard as i can so that the next day on saturday i don't have to farm too hard and um, be able to get that w so the w is to farm level 10 more and more people are knowing how to play abyssal tournaments now than ever before so guys you need to jump on it it's almost been a year so a lot of people know about orca and it has really changed the game um Guys, I will show you my skill tree because a lot of people wanted to see this skill tree. So, there you go. There's nothing too crazy. Uh, Barbaric Fury, tap, and then your critical strike. Uh, my fairy charm is always at its highest. That's just decent. And then your tap damage is fine. And this is almost maxed out. I oh, can't wait to get it to max out soon. And dual summon champion damage, uh, lightning burst is maxed out, amber arts is maxed out. That is also maxed out with the flash zip, and so is volcanic eruption. And here, the most important is tactical insert and anchoring shot. I do like this a lot. I don't know why, but people recommended that I try not using it. And to be honest, I prefer with it. Okay, um, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like it was changing a lot for me. Um, but hey, I, I don't know, I'm just still using it. And Forbidden Contract and Terrifying Pack is maxed out. Forbidden Contract is going to be higher. I am going to upgrade that. And Royal Contract will be maxed out as well. So these two will be maxed out soon. Um, and when it comes to my mana, I do have enough, so I'm not too worried. Lightning Strike's decent. That just needs one and limit break is this. Okay, so that, that hopefully kind of gives you a bit of a, an idea of what it's like. Um, and I did max out my sprouting salt, love potion and so forth and yada yada yada. Alright guys, so that's it for me uh, in, in terms of showing you my skill tree. At least it kind of gives you a bit of an understanding on how things are done. Uh, maybe we can go move a bit to raid cards. Ooh, I got some money to spend people. All right, give me that burst damage. Give me that burst, burst damage, burst damage. Sorry guys, I don't know why I got hung up on that, but yeah, burst damage, absolutely stunning, absolutely amazing. Uh, and so my highest raid card would be this bad boy here, purifying blast. This combination is the strongest combination of all day, um, which is your purifying blast. 
totem of power the little fairy looking thing and affliction so this is very very powerful it's usually one of my strongest build and the second one that i do use <clears throat> which is this as well burst damage on mirror force so this stacks up to 35 times which is also helping with your other clan members that especially when you have strong clan members that is going to be very helpful so hopefully you can use this combination and works well for you this is very very solid when it comes to using it for armor damage and as you can tell there's a little theme going on between all three of them except for this one actually um, is that i have one support one affliction and one burst damage usually that's how it works like for example this is another one this is another and this it uh, doesn't really work out for me i don't know why people do such huge damage but i i really don't do much damage um this is by far one of the sleeper build right ruinous rain can be very 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 powerful very strong um and then what else is great that i do do use is yep so that would be the same thing as that literally no difference so yeah so these are one of those ones that i do use and sometimes i will swap it out for uh flag shot and the only time you want to use this is when you have armor and you have other pieces around you that needs damage that does not have armor anymore so that it, it will actually burst damage or flag shot or ricochet and hit the other part of the other body so that is very strong very helpful and this is another very strong item as well revenant swamp which attacks almost everything that is there and that is another helpful hint for um, rates where it requires you to hit almost every part of the body so all right guys that's it for me nothing too crazy i thought i'd just share a little bit on my skill tree and a little bit on the uh what do you call rate cards and stuff to kind of give you a bit of an idea of how i play my game and understand how things run for me so hopefully it's a little bit helpful for you if you've got any more questions definitely drop drop a comment down below and let's get the discussion going when it comes to different things and what people think about this or what people think about that because i think it is only helpful that dialogue happens without dialogue nothing happens in life right and it's okay to challenge each other and it's okay to uh, call each other out if if you think that is right or if you think that is wrong as you know i've been called out as well by people which, which is i think is very very helpful for me instead of splash it is slash um just things like that you know just little things that we all need to have a bit of correction sometimes so all right guys that's it for me drop a like or drop subscribe i really appreciate it i'll catch you tomorrow at the at abyssal tournament and when it comes to it remember join orca all right i'll catch you later tomorrow bye bye